Mr. Happy by Roger Hargreaves. On the other side of the world, where the sun shines hotter than here, and where the trees are a hundred feet tall, there is a country called Happy Land. As you might very well expect, everyone who lives in Happy Land is as happy as the day is long. Wherever you go, you see smiling faces all around. It's such a happy place that even the flowers seem to smell in Happy Land. And as well as all the people being happy, all the animals are Happy Land as well. If you've never seen a mouse to smile, or a cat, or a dog, or even a worm, get a happy land. This is a story about someone who lived there who happened to be called Mr. Happy. Mr. Happy was fat and round and happy. He lived in a small cottage beside a lake at the foot of the mountain and close to wooden happy land. One day while Mr. Happy was out walking through the tall trees in some woods and near his home, he came across something which is really rather extraordinary. <laughs> there in the trunk of one of the very tall trees is a door. Not a very large door, but nevertheless, but nevertheless a door. Certainly a door. A small, narrow, yellow door. Definitely a door. I wonder who lives here, thought Mr. Happy to himself. And he turned the head of the small, narrow, yellow door. The door wasn't locked and it slid open quite easily. <laughs> Just inside the small, narrow, yellow door was a small, narrow wedding with staircase leading downwards. Mr. Happy squeezed his rather large body through the <laughs> rather thin, rather thin doorway to get a walk down the stairs. The sparrows went round and round and round and round and round and round. Eventually, after a long time, Mr. Happy reached the bottom of the stair staircase. He looked around and saw it in front of him with another small ear door, but this one is red. Mr. Happy knocked at the door. Who's there? said a voice. A sad, squeaky sort of voice. Who's there? Mr. Happy pushed out the red door slowly. <laughs> and there, sitting on a stool, was somebody who looked exactly like Mr. Happy, especially that he didn't look happy at all. In fact, you're that right miserable. Hello, said Mr. Happy. I'm Mr. Happy. Oh, you are indeed. Sniffed the person who looked like Mr. Happy but wasn't. Well, my name is Mr. Miserable, and I'm the most miserable person in the world. Why are you so miserable? asked Mr. Happy. Because I am, replied Mr. Miserable. How would you like to be happy like me? asked Mr. Happy. I'd give anything to be happy, said Mr. Miserable. But I'm so miserable, I don't think I could ever be happy, he added miserably. Mr. Happy made up his mind quickly. Follow me, he said. Where to? asked Mr. Miserable. Don't argue, said Mr. Happy, and he went out through the small, narrow, yellow red door. Mr. Miserable hesitated and then followed. Up and up the winding staircase they went. Up and round and round and round and up and, and, and until they came out through the wood. Follow me, said Mr. Happy again, and the bus said I went back to Mr. Happy's cottage. Mr. Miserable stayed at Mr. Happy's cottage for quite some time. And during the time, the most remarkable thing happened. Because he was living in Happy Land, Mr. Miserable ever so slowly stopped being miserable and started to be happy. His mouth stopped turning down the corners. And ever so slowly started turning up at the corners. And eventually, Mr. Miserable did something that he'd never done in the whole of his life. He smiled, and then he chuckled, which turned into a giggle, which became a laugh. A big, booming, hearty, huge, giant, large, enormous laugh. And Mr. Happy was so surprised that he started to laugh as well. And both of them laughed and laughed. They laughed until the sides hurt, and their eyes watered. Mr. Miserable and Mr. Happy laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed. And they went outside and still they laughed. <laughs> and because they were laughing so much, everyone who saw them started laughing as well. <laughs> and even the birds in the trees started to laugh at the thought of somebody called Mr. Miserable and just couldn't stop laughing. And that's really the end of the story, except to say that you ever feel as miserable as Mr. Miserable used to be. You know exactly what to do, don't you? 
Just turn your mouth up at the corners. Go on, get. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I reading Mickey Mouse goofy lies? <laughs> and I also thought uh, something about you guys. <laughs> Mr. Bounce just actually exploded. Yeah. Uh, sauce. <laughs> Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh -oh. oh god, this is not attack, it's just, I don't know what Mr. Happy is all about, he's just uh, like a clone of himself as miserable. Knock! No fooey, that bummer food, this cat, I could be happy in this place, happy lads, and technically, I want to go on a sunny day to read EGAD books. <laughs> well, <laughs> think it's some egads. I like a piece of me. <laughs> that is a close-up shot. <laughs> oh no! Why is there a, a explosive thing? Wonderful. <laughs> I know his cat price is wonderful, and everything is completely wonderful for him. And I used to shout his line, WONDERFUL! Oh no! <laughs> I can't move on!